If you're using the Volvo QuickFit S6 type, then you're working with a symmetrical and very light QuickFit. Another feature is its small loss of breakout force compared to a pin-on bucket. And because changing the attachment only takes a few seconds, you also have a great opportunity of optimizing your excavator for each application. Before changing the attachment, find a flat piece of ground if possible. Changing the attachment is always easier if the excavator is in a horizontal position. Place the attachment on the ground or curl in the bucket before carrying out any operations with the hydraulics for the quick fit. Press the safety switch in the cab to operate the hydraulic cylinder. This opens the wedge under the pin. As this is a safety switch, you must first press the red knob on top of the quick fit switch to be able to press the main switch down. As the operator, make sure this switch is always intact and functional. If you should touch this switch by accident, you won't lose the attachment because the switch is unable to move down. A warning symbol is then activated on the display and a buzzing sound can be heard to warn you that the attachment is now unlocked. A red mechanical pin will move out from the quick fit body to inform you and anyone in close vicinity of the excavator what is happening. Now move the attachment to the ground and start to operate the bucket cylinder open bucket in order to disconnect the attachment. Should the wedge not move out from the pin after pressing the switch in the cab, then it might have become stuck in dirt after a period of not being used. There is, however, a procedure here to help you. Curl the bucket in until you reach the end position. In the end position, continue to curl the bucket in order to acquire maximum pressure in the locking cylinder. Now try opening the bucket once again and you will see that the attachment is free to place on the ground. If you are still unable to open the quick fit after this end position operation, then something is wrong and you should contact your dealer for the necessary support. Never take a chance of operating the quick fit circuit if you are not 100% certain about safety. To connect a new attachment, in this case a ripper tooth, curl the quick fit hooks around the pin on top of the attachment. In order to make the connection easier, make sure that both the attachment and the excavator are standing on a level surface. If you feel you have the quick fit body close to the attachment, press the switch for the quick fit hydraulics. This time it is not necessary to first press the red switch. A normal switch operation is sufficient. Make a backhand test on the ground to ensure that the attachment is secure. It is never wrong to stretch your legs. To be absolutely sure about the locking procedure, leave the cab and visually check that the wedge is under the front pin. Delete and confirm the alarm on the display using the switch on the left-hand side of the quick fit switch. Now the excavator knows the attachment is hooked on and you can continue with your work. As mentioned previously, your S6 quick fit is symmetrical and your digging equipment can be used to turn the bucket. But you can, of course, also reposition the excavator. Sometimes you may destroy the underlying surface, so the final decision is up to you. Operate the digging equipment smoothly and slowly so as to avoid any scratches or damage to the components. Use the same procedure as described previously for disconnecting and connecting the bucket.
And of course here too, carry out the backhand test to ensure that the bucket is hooked on correctly. Now the bucket is ready to be used for refilling gravel along a wall, handling rocks and similar work. But when breakout force is required, always connect the bucket in the normal way.